Welcome to the Arlington Weekly News. I'm Daniel Pineda. I'm Miriam Gennari. My name's Adele Quo. And welcome, Miriam. Thanks so much. Craig is on assignment today. We have a great newscast. We have our news stories, our CBB stories. We certainly have Adele here with her segment of It's It's Easy Easy Being Green. Green. Good job. Thanks. (laughs) And then, of course, we're going to talk a little bit about the upcoming election. I assume you're going to tell us a little bit about what's happening on the Community Bulletin Board. Right, and then we have Rich and his reviews, seniors, and then Rich Masomni with his guests. But first, you can watch the Arlington Weekly News on our YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash Arlington Weekly News and the number one. And you can also visit on us on our Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash Arlington Weekly News. All right, now on to the news. Uh, The special election to replace County Board Member Chris Zimmerman is Tuesday, April 8th. The deadline to register was in March. The candidates are Alan Howes, a Democrat, and three independents, Janet Murphy, John Weistat, and Stephen Holbrook. To learn more about the elections, visit VoteVirginia.gov or or VoteArlingtonVA.us election. There will be two additional elections later this year, a primary June 10th and the general election on November 4th. Daniel? Well, Miriam, the county hired to perform an economic impact analysis of the proposed and hotly debated streetcar initiative. The consultants, HR and A advisors completed and published their report in March. They concluded that the streetcar option will boost Arlington's economy more so than either Metro bus or an enhanced bus rapid transit service. The proposal to run a streetcar line from Pentagon City West to Skyline has been in the works for more than a decade. To read more on this report, just visit the website arlingtonva.us. Miriam. Well, Daniel, that's not all there is to say about the streetcar. There are two sides to the streetcar debate. Arlington, Arlingtonians for Sensible Transit, a group opposed to the streetcar initiative, struck back at the county officials on April 2nd with a critique of the streetcar economic impact study. They say the review was rigged from the start and makes several inappropriate and faulty assumptions. You can read about the group opposed to putting in a streetcar at streetcarnow.org. Now. Streetcarnow.org, a recently formed group that supports the streetcar initiative. Arlington Streetcar Now responded positively to the report, and you can learn more about that group and its report and uh, use of the streetcar at sensibletransit.org. Daniel? Absolutely. Well, if you or someone you know works or studies at American University, then be on alert. AU's Health Center has sent a notification about a possible neurovirus outbreak. Some students have been exhibiting symptoms and as precaution, AU has housekeeping crews using a cleaning agent that targets the virus. Common symptoms of the neurovirus include diarrhea, vomiting, and fever. Miriam. Okay, on on an exciting note for Arlington, Arlington has the unusual distinction this month on April 1st, Arlington became the first county on the East Coast to set up a bike meter station. The meter is on the Custis Trail at Lee Highway and Lynn Street. You can see the accurate real-time tally of bicycle visits to the spot on the meter. The information displayed is in real time and also includes month and year-to-date data. The county will use the information to research how, where, and when to support bikers and walkers. The bike meter is the sixth one to go up in the country after Portland, Seattle, and California put in stations. For more information, you can visit www.bikearlington.com. Daniel? Now we all go on to our one of our favorite people, Adele Quo, and her segment, Is You Being Green. green. <laughs> we <laughs> fell apart there, guys. <laughs> we fell apart. It is, though. <laughs> Tell us, Adele. All right. Well, that was a good segue. We tried. We did. <laughs> it is Easy Being Green by Living in a More Earth friendly way. Are you looking to green your lifestyle? Arlingtonians for a clean environment, otherwise known as ACE, are putting on a green living expo that will provide connections to companies, practitioners, and experts for every area of sustainable living. The fifth annual Green Living Expo will take place on Saturday, April 26th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Since ACE is partnering with the Mason Community Earth Week Fair, the event will take place at George Mason's Arlington campus, Founders Hall, located at 3351 Fairfax Drive in Arlington. 
the green level li oh, <laughs> tongue tied there the green living expo is family friendly free and open to the general public for more details check the website on your screen volunteers are welcome and needed the Green Living Expo will feature green vendors, products from local and national businesses, exhibits and seminars from government agencies and nonprofits, and much more. So learn practical ways that you can green your everyday life and lifestyles with a focus on energy conservation, solid waste reduction, eco-friendly transportation, green home remodeling, and sustainable landscaping and healthy homes. The goal here is to help inform people so that they become more knowledgeable about living in a way that's earth friendly and also to provide connections with the people that have the same interest as you. For people who don't have the time or opportunity to do their own research about their home or change their eating habits and don't know where or how to start, this expo offers everything in one place. So come learn how to green your home, your apartment, your community, and your lifestyle. There will be seminars, a raffle, food sales, children's activities, and much more. It will provide an important venue to showcase new technology and products that are available to soften our carbon footprint in Arlington. So remember, it's easy being green, living more earth friendly. Certainly is, especially in your backyard with an event like that. Thanks, Absolutely. Adele. Thank you so much. Right. I hope I see you there. You certainly <laughs> will. And Excellent. now on to some more um, news. Uh, the Community Bulletin Board on Friday, April 18th, the Arlington Gay and Lesbian Alliance will hold its annual Miss Gay Arlington pageant. Anyone 21 or older can portray a female persona and they can enter. The four categories include presentation, talent, evening gown, and onstage questions. The winners prize is valued at $1,200. There is also a $10 cover charge. The event starts at 8 p.m. at Freddy's Beach Bar and Restaurant at 555 23rd Street, South Arlington in Crystal City. For more information, go to agla.org backslash miss-gay-arlington. Craig? Daniel, I tell you. <laughs> well, then on Saturday, April the 19th, you can participate in Arlington Public Library's <laughs> annual staff and community bicycle tour, simply called Tour des Bibliothèques. The tour will cover 30 miles in about three or four uh, hours and includes visits to seven of the county's eight libraries. Don't worry if you're not a distant racer, there are shorter route, uh, routes rather routes you can participate in. The event begins at 9.30 a.m. at the Central Library. For more information and to register, visit the, li uh, the library.arlingtonva.us website or email arlingtonbytour at gmail.com. Thanks, Daniel. A little bit more library news. On mm -hmm. Thursdays, you can learn how to use the library's ebook and e reader program. Mm -hmm. On April 10th and 24th, <laughs> there is a group session at Westover Branch. And on April 17th and 29th, you can take classes at Central Library. Daniel? Every Mondays in April, except the 14th, it's Open Door Monday. You can meet with at least one Arlington County board member to ask questions, air your views, or just say hi. On April the 7th, Open Door Mondays will be at the Westover Branch. Miriam. Well, I, and for details about these and other library events, go to library.arlingtonva.us. The events are on the home page or on the calendar section on the right side of the page. Now it's time for Rich's Reviews. Hey, Rich, Rich. What have you been Thank up you, to? Thank you, folks. Uh, the 32nd Annual Taste of the South, that's TOTS, uh, was held Saturday evening, March 29th, to Washington Hilton. They, they've been around for 32 years, and they, do, they pick charities to do something on. Uh, this year, the Lupus Foundation of America uh, for this area. Anyway, they're, they're, they're great, and you can look up their website, uh, tasteofthesouth.org. Um, I've seen the play <clears throat> The Cripple of Inishman a few times. It's an Irish play over the years, but none is better than the version now at first stage in Tyson's. Set in Ireland in 1934, Billy Clavin, played by Josh Adams, a uh, 17 year old, has a leg and arm deformity. Everybody calls him without meanness, uh, Cripple Billy. Anyway, uh, Mark Lee Adams as Johnny Patine Mike, uh, 
uh, a town gossip stole the show, in my opinion, with his antics. Also, uh, wonderful cast, wonderful cast. Uh, I, I strongly recommend. If you don't know First Stage, you don't know theater. Anyway, uh, the phone number for them is uh, 703-854-1856. Or check the website, firststagetysons.org. I think that's on the screen right now. Uh, this plays, this cripple of Ishish man plays through April 20. Uh, the Shakespeare Theater has an interesting thing, a brief encounter. Uh, you know, there was a movie back in 1945, a black and white, uh, a love story. And somehow the Shakespeare Theater, with uh, in connection with the uh, Nihai Production Company of England, have put on something here at the Landsberg Theater in Washington. Uh, you get the live actors sort of getting into the film. Crazy, but they can do it. Anyway, it's very interesting. Uh, this will play through April 13, just around the corner. Uh, I'd say uh, call 202-547-1122 and check the website at shakespearetheater.org. And finally, uh, I'm an oyster nut. I don't know. People who know me know that. And then I just recently heard about the Rappahannock Oyster Bar located in Union Market off Florida Avenue, uh, Northeast, 5th and Northeast. Uh, I had to go, and I'm glad I did. Uh, these people, now if you like oysters, these people, Rappahannock, have their own oyster beds in Virginia. So you know you're getting the good stuff. Um, I had different kinds, from sweet to salty, a half a dozen grilled oysters and a bowl of scrumptious oyster chowder. Um, I am looking for a, a female that likes oysters. I, mean, I know I'll find one. Do you like oysters? Yes, I like oysters. Do you really? Oh, you're just playing with me. Okay. Uh, all of this was uh, seated at an open bar, oysters being sh shucked. Uh, wonderful organization. The Rappahannock Oyster Bar is located at New York Avenue, Route 50 East, right on Florida Avenue on 5th Street. Uh, the address is 1309. Uh, you, for more information, call 202-544-4702 or check the website, www.rroysters.com. Thank you, folks. Thank you so much, Rich. I knew if I needed to find a recommendation on oysters, I <laughs> could go straight to you, Rich. I knew that. Okay, you count on me. Thanks so much. <laughs> and now on to some news for our seniors. Uh, Walter Reed Senior Center is hosting an important seminar presented by Arlington County Fire Department. The fire department officials will emphasize tips on preventing fires, what to do if there is a fire, and the importance of smoke and carbon monoxide detectors. This is a free presentation and will be on Thursday, April 10th at 10 p.m. Call 703-228-0955 to register. Well, Eurora Hills Senior Center is holding its annual Trash and Treasure Sale to benefit Eurora Hills and other community programs. It will be on Saturday, April the 12th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Sale items range from baked goodies, jewelry, and crafts to electric appliances, furniture, and yes, even books. For more information, just give them a call at 703-228-5722. I love that sale. I can't wait. Yes. And now, if you're newly eligible for Medicare or a caregiver of a Medicare beneficiary, this applies to you. You may be interested in the discussion on Medicare coverage and choices hosted by Virginia's Insurance Counseling and Assistance Program. The two-hour seminar will be Tuesday, April 8th from 2 to 4 p.m. at the Arlington Human Service Center in Sequoia Plaza. That's 2100 Washington Boulevard. Free parking is available in the garage across the street. For more information and directions, call 703-228-1700. Daniel? Well, there are only four. Oh, sorry. Did you know that Arlington's educational theater company has theater appreciation classes on Fridays at Langston Brown Senior Center? Well, and there are only four classes left. Well, the classes consist of lectures, video clips, script readings, and will end with a group performance. The classes start at 10.30 a.m. and cost $6 each. For more information and to register, just give them a call at 703-228-6300. Great, more fun for seniors. Yes. Now that spring is here, it's a good time to contact the 55 and over biking group. Your upcoming events, including the annual Cherry Blossom Ride, and there's no sign up and no cost. Just call 
1-800-242-4771 to learn more. Daniel? Well, Arlingtonian and former Foreign Service Officer Andrea Bauman has known to many people as a fitness instructor at Lee Senior Center and Thomas Jefferson Community Center. But she's also a history buff. Bauman moderates a monthly roundtable discussion focused on historical events, people, and places. Last month, the group discussed villains who changed history. April's topic is non-villains who changed history. The roundtable will be at Lee Senior Center on Tuesday. That's April the 8th at 11.15 a.m. If you need any more information and information to sign up, just give them a call at 703-228-0555. And as always, Miriam, we want to thank our own Judy Masabni. Thanks, Judy. For helping us out this week with our stories. Absolutely. And now uh, another temptation from Rich Masabni. We're going to watch Rich with his guest, Edward Dean of Sangam Catering International. Hi, I'm Rich Masabni, and it's such a pleasure to have with us Edward Dean. I know you know his face. He had for many years Sangam Restaurant in the Comfort Inn on Glebe Road, just off Washington Boulevard. And then he went sort of international. He has now Sangam Catering International, and he's, he's done so many big events around Washington, and he's been on television, besides this one, a lot of places. And uh, so he's an experienced man. And uh, so Edward Dean here, he's the owner and, and slash executive chef, and the, our regular chef is Theodore Levy right over here. And uh, uh, Mr. Dean not only does Indian food from his native country, but uh, he does <laughs> Lebanese too. And uh, I guess a good chef can really do everything. We've got like hummus or baba ganoush. What's this? Baba ganoush. Baba ganoush right here. And uh, there's those grape leaves over there. If we can get a shout hummus out to and your hummus. Yeah, you tell us what we got here, Mr. Dean. We've got um, um, shawarma chicken. Yes. And we have uh, beef sh shawarma. Yeah. We have baba ganoush. Uh, we have hummus. Yeah. And uh, we have grape leaves. And of course, uh, we have great uh, pita bread, yeah. along with the naan. And yeah. So we have, we have like whatever we can. Whatever. And, and what is this? These are Indian chana masala, okay. and that is Indian. Our signature dish of Sangam Restaurant, Sangam mm. Catering International, now is the butter chicken. Yeah. And uh, uh, that's all we have today. I hate to mention all my competition, but uh, you've been involved with a lot of broadcasting stations lately. I mean, yes, uh, I you mean, can name them if you want. Well, I mean, you are the boss, but no, uh, we have uh, we have had we have we had great opportunities are coming ahead of us, and uh, we are very fortunate to be the part of the community. And you all have supported us, and we are looking forward for great support as we go down the road. Uh, we have changed and diversified completely into our organization, into our system, into our business, and now we have taken the course to go international as well as our main theme would remain Indian. But of course, internationalization is the key and main name of the game, as you know. Yeah. Uh, and so we are going to be doing, uh, we have done Indian, we have done the Utopian, we have done Spanish, uh, we have done Lebanese, and we have done Moroccan, we have done all of these. And I continually doing this at the all convention right. center. I do basically mm -hmm. Indian and uh, Mediterranean almost for every single show for them. Uh. I want to tell, it was just flashed on the screen, I don't know if the phone number's on there. Now the company is known as Sangam Catering International, yes. and the phone number is 202-413-7006. Uh, maybe we could put that up there. And as I said, uh, this is Edward Dean and uh, Theodore Levy over here, and uh, the chef, and uh, uh, you, you're uh, you're kind of a well-known name. You've been on Taste of Arlington. And you've been a winner, you've been a runner-up, uh, and then you're going to be doing Taste of Arlington again in May, right? Well, you are snatching the words from my mouth, but that's, uh -huh. the, that's the way, Mr. Musabni, you are. Thank you. Okay. However, I would like to, I'm, I'm sure most of you know it and uh, are aware of it, that Sangam Catering International has been, um, uh, Sangam Restaurant has been the grand prize of wi uh, winner of the Taste of Arlington uh, three times in a row. We got three pits. That was... Uh, uh, a few years back, and then of course we ended up in the runner-up, and uh, here we are uh, being uh, 
uh, uh, ask, asked to go back again. And this year, Taste of Arlington, as you know, is uh, something very unique and new and, yeah. and very, very interesting, very challenging. And it's going to be a great, great event which we are expecting to do. So I am happening to be a part of that this year. I have signed up for it, so I will be competing. Uh, the the way they are describing that it is going to be a Boston restaurant challenge and uh, I believe there will be a competition among three all the guests uh, chefs and we don't know where we are going whether we are going to be there uh, do what where we stand we don't know but our focus and our effort will be to succeed and to get somewhere in in, in, in you know a neighbor of, of uh, hold up I'm place. always amazed when I talk to you and I know about the different events that you cater. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a varied amount of places. Uh. Yes, um, we, I can name a few if you would. Go ahead. Uh, we are actually the subcontractors with the DC Convention Center. Uh, we have been uh, the subcontractors with the Sodexo Corporation for the past several years and also uh, we had many mo more uh, which we are still doing, some of the hotels and so on. So now I would like to show you, if you would, a uh, little bit of butter chicken. Sure, we have a couple of minutes here, yes, Chef. Yes, please uh, put the butter chicken in there. Chef Levy. And, and, and there's no time just to, right. so that, you know, just do it and, and show Mr. Masabi now, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Good, good, good. Just a so, little bit. Yeah. Now this is one, uh, I don't know, any other Indian restaurant or any that does butter chicken like this person does here, like, yeah, well, it's so popular. Um, so I guess popular. everybody has their own way of doing things. Well. And, uh, uh, our ways. You marinate uh, the the chicken beforehand. Absolutely, 24 hours uh, ahead of the time. It's marinated mm -hmm. with the, you know, heavy cream, tomato base, and all these spices, and how uh, we put in. And then next day we take uh, and you know do the same process. But it it takes a, a day at least to make good, good, good product. We have this had uh, this has brought us. Three times this has won the Taste of Arlington. This is our signature dish. Yeah. So we are hoping to be there with this plus much more. Uh, um, of course, other things you are you are aware of that uh, you know what we do. What I am always amazed with you, uh, Mr. Dean, is your versatility. I mean, how right over here, for example, you got the rolled grape leaves. Uh, I mean, uh, that's close to my heart, you know. Being of Lebanese ext extraction, that is something else. And. Do you ever get to a point, we only have less than a minute, do you ever get to a point where uh, you, you, you don't know because you get people ask you, can you make Lebanese, can you make this, can you make that? And th that doesn't stop you, does it? No, it doesn't. Yeah, I know. Every day is a new day, every day a new challenge, and it has to be faced and taken into stride, and uh, it will work if you really want it to work. Okay, I, I want to give that phone number again if I can, 202-413-7006. And that's Sangam Catering International. And, of course, this is Edward Dean right here. He's the big boss. And the next big boss is Theodore <laughs> Levy right over here. And uh, I, uh, people who knew that Sangam restaurant for 12 years there, or whatever it was, he got a big reputation there. And now uh, he's doing this in the catering, letting more people know about it. So i got to say goodbye. Thank you very much, both of you gentlemen, coming on. See you on the Taste of Arlington on 18th of May, 2014. Bye. Bye-bye. Rich, the food looks so delicious, and it even tasted delicious. Thank it you so really much. It was really good. Thank it you, It was Rich. so great. So, Miriam, how do you do? I, how do you I, feel? I thought I did great. I, I, I hope that uh, Craig, Craig doesn't come back. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. Hey, uh, thanks so much for inviting me, Absolutely. and thanks for watching the Arlington Weekly News. She's really good. Really don't, good. Don't Craig, forget to out. vote. <laughs> don't forget to vote. Well, thank you so much for watching the Arlington Weekly News. I'm Daniel Pineda. I'm Miriam Gennari. Rich Masab. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next week. Bye now. Bye. Bye.